We've got oh, a, clue. a clue. Oh my yeah. goodness. We've shown you so many gem properties, so many sizes, shapes, and colors, but one thing we rarely discuss is how they smell. So today we're going to check out the oh smelliest God. gems and minerals out there. That is All right, fun. let's do it. <gasps> Whoa, well, oh wow, starting out strong. Yes, <laughs> this is sulfur. I love sulfur as a mineral because obviously you have this electric yellow mm -hmm. color and don't you think it looks like it should smell really bad? It or? looks like some toxic yeah. animal that's like, don't touch me. Sulfur is an element. Mm -hmm. It's, I believe, 16 on the periodic table. It forms in the orthorhombic crystal system. Here is a great example of crystal a crystal base. face. It's very, very soft and very difficult to facet and when sulfur comes into contact with water, it creates hydrogen sulfide and you get sulfur dioxide and it's actually the sulfur dioxide that has that rotten egg kind of smell. So sulfur typically forms near volcanic vents and it often ends up burning near those vents and it was given the name brimstone way back in the day. So fire and brimstone, if you've heard that combination of words before, it's talking about sulfur. Okay, let's smell it at the same time. You have to commit to doing a true whiff. Like, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, consume it. My nostrils are gonna vibrate okay. with the force. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I like caught a taste at the back of my yeah. throat. <laughs> It's like gaseous, like not like a car gasoline, but... Natural gas or something Yeah, it's like most... That. Well, it is a natural gas, I guess. So that you guys know, these two larger specimens are part of our internal collection. And as you can see, they're very beautiful. Yeah. So we're not going to... Damaging them in Damage any way. those or hurt those in any way. But this one, we've been given free reign to play with. I want to hit that with a hammer. Yeah. Can I do it, Rob? Of course. Let's see if it smells even worse when we break it. Okay. I'm afraid. Well, you asked to do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's like smoke from yeah, fire. Yeah, we're not volcanic at this try? point. Yeah, sure. Oh, I mean, this is fun. It looks like um, yellow sprinkles or something. Yeah, like, like that. rock. Like I would rock wanna, yeah, candy. they're like rock candy. I really just want to do that one. No, don't. No, I'm not do gonna that. do it. But like my monkey brain is telling me to do it. It's definitely easier to smell. Yeah, it's breathing now. Okay, so that one clear as day. Not entirely pre like pleasant. Rotten eggs. All right, box number two. Jet black is a color, but is it also a scent? Ooh. We're gonna find out. Yes. Yes. Jet is a fossilized. Um, it's fossilized wood. So jet is an organic material, and if you look at it, you can see striations in wood and things like that. Whitby, England is the most famous locality for jet. It got popularized after Queen Victoria used it in mourning jewelry after the death of her husband, oh. and it's where the term jet black comes mm -hmm. from. And it also is a form of lignite coal. So from an olfactory perspective, when you burn it. Yeah, I would hope for a pine smell, but you don't get that. You kind of get a tar smell. The team is telling us that we can play with these. So the way we're gonna do that is with a hot needle test. Do you wanna heat it? Sure. So this is a pretty reliably diagnostic test as far as jet is concerned, because it's lookalikes in hematite and onyx do not produce any odor if you stab them with a hot needle. It's hot. It looks hot. Give it a poke. Oh, that's like immediate. It's like a burning tar, yeah. like coal smell. It doesn't smell like wood. It smells like gum. No. It has almost like when you opened up a really old suitcase or an old book kind of smell. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like musty? Yeah. All right, you ready for the next box? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Amber versus plastic. Can you tell the difference? Snip I like it. this test. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. Amber is a very, very, very old fossilized tree resin. In amber, you will often see insects, foliage. Well, guys. Trapped inside the amber because they get trapped 
as the amber hardens. Plastic is a very popular and cheap imitator of amber, and they can, at a glance, be a little difficult to discern from one another. But under the hot needle test, amber will smell almost pleasant yeah. and piney, and plastic will smell like burning plastic, yeah, which is not pleasant. Okay. So these are the guys that we're allowed to stab. Yeah. So Presumably among the pieces that we have here, there is plastic. All right, hit me. <laughs> okay. That's, that's hot. Okay, go for it. Oh my gosh, I smell it. Did you smell that? I think this is amber. It has an incense type of smell. Oh, there it was. Yeah, that can't be plastic. Oh. Oh. Smell that. <coughs> oh my gosh. That's not good. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's so gross. Yeah, that was not, I that's don't even not know, good. I don't even know how to describe that. I had a very like primal rejection of that smell. My brain went, get it out of your, oh man, it, is it in my eye? It's, it does smell, it smells toxic for yeah. one. It smells like a combination of like vomit and broccoli and <laughs> that's disgusting. I'm getting hints of um, dumpster water. That's definitely <laughs> amber because yeah. that was I did, so Well, much I didn't recoil pleasant. when I sniffed this one. The other thing I noticed is the plastic was extremely easy it to penetrate kind of sink right in. with yeah. the hot needle. I have a um, headache. I do. See, this is why it pays to not have a good sniffer. Yeah, that was disgusting. 10 out of 10, do not recommend that. All right, next box. All right. May smell edible, but that would be a mistake. But... Oh, so arsenopyrite. Oh, so wow. two words you probably recognize, arsenic mm -hmm. and pyrite. Pyrite is an iron sulfide. Arsenopyrite has arsenic in it. We're going to do a streak test. So a streak test is you. where you take a mineral specimen and you scratch it against a piece of unglazed ceramics. Streak tests can be really diagnostic when you're trying to differentiate different materials. We're not pursuing identification because we already know what this is. But what happens when you conduct a streak test on arsenopyrite is it smells like garlic. And what that oh, is, boy. is arsenic trihydride. So arsenic and hydrogen atoms. Are you ready? I guess so, ready yeah, garlic? give me that arsenic. <laughs> Do it again. You getting any thing? Kind <laughs> of. Are we gonna die after this? No, no, well, eventually. Smell is very faint there, so we're gonna conduct a different method. I was trying to grate, grate the garlic, it. but now we're just gonna crush it. Oh, that broke. I'm not getting a huge it, amount of flavor from this. So it's supposed to smell like garlic. I only get like a faint whiff of it. I feel like I was sniffing something, but I couldn't really yeah, smell I anything. I couldn't identify a smell. All right, you ready for the next one? Oh yeah. The smell of this gem will prevent you from being deceived. I love this That's gemstone. Huge. It's a spalerite. I can't believe the variety of forms. Oh my God, look at the fire in that. I know, that's Whoa, what it's known for. I just known caught for. some green there for a moment. Three shocked. times the dispersion value of diamond. Yeah, that's crazy. Cleavage in six directions. It's not very hard, so sphalerite, to have this type of faceted gem is unbelievable. Bananas. I love that so much, I'm gonna close that up because it makes me afraid. Sphalerite is actually in the cubic crystal system. It doesn't look like it from that yeah, crystal form, but you can see that it's growing with fluorite cubes, purple fluorite, which is really fun. I love the contrast that that makes. Back to its name, Sphalerose, deceitful or treacherous. Mm -hmm. So it's named as such because it was commonly confused with galena. Sphalerite is one that also can smell like sulfur. We can conduct a scratch test scratch and, and see if it smells like sulfur. All right, you ready? God, I feel, I feel bad about this. I'm sorry. I know, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I do not like that noise. Oh, yep. Okay. It smells bad. Oh, yep. It smells like rotten eggs. That's Rob got really an, that's got an aroma. That one. Yeah, it's like one of those stinks where you're like, 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Spalerite is made of iron, zinc, and sulfur, mm -hmm. and so you have that sulfur byproduct. The minerals that this might be mistaken for, galena for example, won't have that sulfur smell because the sulfur is just not present in those other minerals. Okay, you ready for another one? I'm ready. Is your nose ready? I, I don't know if my mind is ready. Also known as swine stone. Oh no. Like swine like pig? <laughs> box in this box. I don't know what it is. So this is anthraconite, which is made of calcite and bitumen, which is one of the ingredients in asphalt. So we all know what fresh asphalt smells like. Yeah, not great. Do you think I smell Actually, one good? of my favorite smells is the road right after a light rain. Okay, yes Like that's to a, a top tier smell. So let's smell swinestone, also known as stinkstone which doesn't bode well for Thank this. Thank goodness I'm blessed with smell. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to burn this. Yeah, we have to burn this. Okay. Ooh. 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 It's a little tarry. That's more tarry than the, um, than the- Jet? Than jet, yeah. I don't like that smell. It sure does stink. The bitumen is what causes the smell. Yeah, it doesn't smell like the road after a rain, I'll tell you that. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's move that's on not to the nice. next. Okay. Does this make you think of cats? Huh. Whoa. You blitz? What is that? Look at it yeah, in cross hold, section. Hold the, oh, it's got rings? Like a tree? Is it a tree? These are bellumnites. Bellumnite. Bellumnite is an ancient cephalopod from like the late Triassic to Cretaceous period. It was like a major part of the ecosystem at the time. This is only one part of what would have constituted the whole cephalopod, is the most durable part, and it was called the guard. Other parts didn't survive the whole fossilization process, but these parts did, which is why they're all like uniform and they kind of look the same. So this has a really interesting history. So Theophrastus, mm -hmm. who was a fourth century, third century BC intellectual philosopher, he referred to Lingorium, which is an ancient prized gemstone thought to have come from the urine of a lynx. It was thought that it had all of these different properties, could heal things and- Attract. Attract certain things. Yeah. So Lingorium as this, you know, Mythic, hypothetical uh, gemstone. gemstone that had all of these properties had a lot of different materials that were supposedly thought to be mm -hmm. it. Bellumites were just one of them. The reason being that when burned, they smelled like lynx urine. Right. So we're gonna it, try. Yeah. So we're told that we can burn any of okay. these. Let's I get maybe that plate one. back. Yeah, we can get a plate going. It's burning. It is, oh, it's got, oh. oh, material's popping off. Wait, keep going, keep going. It feels like I'm lighting a cigar or something. Okay, I'm gonna pull it away, see if it's smoking on its own. Well, it's, it smells it does. like a burnt material, but it doesn't smell like cat my cat. Definitely not a lynx. It feels like it should smell more acrid than it does. It doesn't smell particularly smoky. I think it smells musty. I don't think that smells like lingurium. I don't think it smells like urine of any kind yeah, that I've ever smelled. pretty warm, actually. Yeah. All right, well, that may have oh. been one <laughs> myth of the past that we've disproven today, because I yeah. don't think it smells. No, maybe it did like centuries ago, but that does not really smell like cat pee. I have my opinion on how today went. What do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I definitely most shocking smell was the plastic. Absolutely. Yeah, my sentiments exactly. I thought that the amber plastic box was definitely the most eventful. Definitely the, 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 the biggest yes, contrast. high highs and low yeah. lows. Let's take a closer look at all of the smelly stones we sniffed today. So that was really fun because we got to explore a gem property that we don't really explore very often. Uh, let us know in the comments if there are other gem properties you want us to explore. And while you're there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.